World War Three. All right. So it starts in 2022. Russia finally. It starts this year in 2022 when Russia finally brings off its great invasion of Ukraine. This stuns the entire West, and they quickly start a petition to get Russia out of Ukraine or to make a military alliance against Russia. Belarus responds with this fight coming back to Russia's aid. However, eventually, Ukraine, without even losing, right before losing Kiev, just surrenders in fear of not even being able to defend its own capital. It surrenders, giving Russia's situation better. However, now, however, now the West starts looking towards Russia in a war that they could end up fighting in the front. Other countries immediately make a European blockade, such as Poland, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Well then, in the south, Romania and Moldova all make a, mar- all make a blockade in Europe to prevent goods from getting to other European countries, which affects their gas level, which makes it to where it's hard and they can't have any gas as Russian supply. This effect of mostly affects Germany. So the Russians start sending it through Slovakia into the Czech Republic into Germany. Tensions between Finland and Russia rise and eventually it shows a Russian invasion of the entire country. Unlike in 1940, Soviet humiliation was very bad back then. However, now It's no longer taking into effect. The Finnish armies slowly crumble with ease as they capture Helsinki and burn the entire country to the ground. And burn the entire city to the ground. Finland collapses with no final word. Other countries start seeing this as a very big problem, especially the main allies of France and the UK. However, Ireland is also getting pretty mad at Russia as it's having troops and battleships staged in its area for ship naval practice. Eventually, Belarus is annexed by Russia, as political instability within Belarus arises. Next, the Baltic states are under threat. Now there's nothing defending Russia to get into Germany, so they beg Sweden to join. However, they insist on their neutrality. However, eventually, Germany does go to war with Russia for a couple of seconds until... They leave, and France and the UK go to war with Russia in Germany's place. They launch large bombing campaigns over major cities. And I have to restart that because I accidentally replaced it with the wrong image. Many countries start struggling and wonder if they can. The UK and France immediately make a North Atlantic blockade, which gains the support of many countries such as Portugal and Norway. However, Norway was still pretty neutral, because it really still wanted supply of Russian materials and supplies. So for now, it doesn't attack Russia. However, it does stay in the Russian alliance. It does stay on the side of the North Atlantic blockade against Russia, forcing any Russian ships going through the north to immediately be stopped by Norwegian patrol boats. Poland and the Baltics, along with Romania and Moldova, immediately fear a Russian invasion coming. They start stocking up their armies, however, they can't stock it up fast enough. Eventually, the great invasion comes. They start through Latvia and Lithuania, 
and eventually push in and liberate their Kaliningrad, which Kaliningrad, which had recently been being split apart from Russia by other countries, making it more remote from the entire rest of Russia. And as Re- Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania fall, Poland and Romania are immediately under siege. Moldova immediately collapses next. Then they start moving troops through Poland to finally capture major cities such as Warsaw. This shows the worst Russian casualties against the Polish people. At this point, they're begging, the Allies are begging for the Germans to join the war against Russia. However, they still insist on neutrality, mostly because of the gas that's supplied from Russia. As many campaigns are held into the area, they then immediately bomb Berlin and Hamburg and also Munich, which makes them immediately mad and makes Germany go against them. However, in reality, it was an excuse by some Norwegian pilots that wanted to tell Germany, hey, join the war against Russia. However, they stole some Russian jets, so now they believe it's Russia. Italy immediately joins the next North Atlantic Alliance. Then eventually Turkey. This is eventually turning into a NATO type subject, except for a lot with, without a lot more countries like the U.S., Canada, and, and Denmark, and Greece. By the way, Spain's not in NATO. However, eventually, no other European powers are deciding to join on Russian side. So eventually, they have nowhere to really exactly run. They decide to go look elsewhere for allies. They immediately join. India immediately joins under the British support. However, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Tajikistan all join in Russia's aid along with Armenia. Pakistan joins against the Indians. Next, a large Middle Eastern war breaks out, resulting in Iran joining in Russian defense and Saudi Arabian defenses being more convinced that the Allies need to be have more support. However, a war breaks out and they both however Persian Gulf is heavily occupied by other warships from many different nations, such as Kuwait and UAE. So they decide, so how would they get around each other? Iraq wasn't really supposedly liking either of them, but they hated Iran more. So they joined the blue side. Hey! However, Syria then joined the other side. Eventually, however, Iraq loses its position. And it's immediately... Changes its ideals. However, the UAE then joins the blue side. However, the Rush Iraqis Oman also joins the blue side. However, Iraq joins the red side along with Yemen. This then leads to later conflicts as Egypt joins the same side as them. To eventually having nobody to exactly go to war with since Israel is mostly neutral. However, it could eventually result in many different casualties along the areas within the peoples. Israeli and Palestinian people aren't exactly getting along the best. So when Israel decides to occupy Lebanon, another Arab country like Palestine, if you guys recognize Palestine, but yeah. So the Palestinian people immediately get upset that Israel was using its authority in the region that it doesn't even own, as Palestine does not recognize the Israeli government. Israel, under siege, immediately joins the blue side. Egypt immediately starts fearing an Israel invasion may come, because they went to war with them six times, and Israel won all six times. However, eventually, a breakaway in southern area near West Bank breaks out. As Palestinians engage on the streets with Israel, 
and start forming coalitions and conflicts with the Israeli peoples. Now a new Palestinian territory is made within the Holy Land, making Israel's situation even worse. They could have taken on Egypt and Syria, had a chance to take on Egypt and Syria. However, this time, they may or may not get out of it. However, now with the new support, however, the Israeli authorities just join the blue side to make sure their conflicts are going better. Jordan and Saudi Arabia immediately back them up, despite being both Arab countries. Next, the entire authority of Israel tries to do a full-scale invasion of the Palestinian territories. However, it's knocked back by Egyptian and Palestinian troops. Knocking it back up, cutting a country in two, before Syrian support enters through northern Lebanon. At this point, the Holy Lands are very divided under Jews within Palestine or Arabs, as the Arab tribes were much more recognizable now as the pa Palestinians conquer the entirety of the Holy Lands. And now they have full authority over it. They then threat, first thing they do is immediately threaten Jordan, which immediately surrenders to the Palestinian Authority in fear of being called a traitor to the Arab people. Next, the Iraqi invasion of Saudi Arabia is going pretty badly. However, Iraqis then find a naval port at Kuwait, breaking through siege in Kuwait and reaching further down into the Gulf, before finally meeting up within Saudi's capital, within success in the Middle East. Looks like Russian's team may be winning. Like for part two.